Welcome back. It is a deep stakes guessing game as Hillary Clinton gets ready to announce her pick for vice president following or topping the list right now. We have Virginia Senator Tim Kaine and Secretary of Agriculture uh, Tom Vilsack. And with the decision expected even as early as today, will these candidates help or hurt Donald Trump's campaign? And back with us to weigh in, Jim Lee Green, former 2008 Clinton campaign advisor and of course a Fox News contributor. Jim thanks for staying with us all night and all morning. Happy to be here. All right, so what's going to be the de deciding factor for Hillary Clinton? Because you look at these, these top three names, it could go any direction at this point. They could, and I think it's really interesting that the bench with Democrats is so deep, and that, that's what's also, I think, exciting for her in making this selection. All three of them would be very, very difficult, and I say three because I think Cory Booker is also being talked about as still being on the list. Um, they would all make it a very difficult election for Donald Trump, whether it's Secretary Vilsack or as Senator Kane, they both, I think, would appeal to rural voters. They would appeal to white men, and Hillary Clinton has had trouble with them, both in the primary and Democratic presidential candidates uh, haven't fared too well with them in the last few elections. So uh, I think both Tim Kaine, Bill Sack, uh, you look at Cory Booker, he could be the attack dog, uh, kind of like Chris Christie might have been, uh, something about those New Jersey boys. Um, but again, none of the VP candidates or, or the list that she was looking at, none of them started dropping off like flies, as we saw uh, with Donald Trump, and that none of the kind of just disastrous rollout is happening. Uh, they've been very good at mm. keeping this quiet and, and being very focused on finding the right person. I think she's looking for someone that she has a very good relationship with and that she can trust. Yeah, and speaking of attack dogs, I mean, she already has one of those in Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> um, so uh, she has mentioned that one of the things that she's looking at when it comes to picking her vice presidential candidate, that would be a foreign policy. So which of those names do you think would be best in that area? Well, I think Senator Kane, most people would say probably uh, has the highest marks when it comes to foreign policy and, and the work that he's done in the Senate. But Secretary Vilsack has traveled to many countries since he became uh, Secretary of Agriculture and I think it was maybe one of the weaker areas for him when he ran for president a, a few months in 2008 but it, he, he really has spent time traveling internationally and, and was on a Sunday talk show uh, within the last week really showing up that he, he could talk foreign policy so again this bench is deep it is qualified it is focused and uh, the, the campaign has been been very, very, um, you know, disciplined yeah. with the selection process. Yeah, and this also comes after Mike Pence was chosen governor of Indiana for Trump. So it'll be interesting to see if she's made that a part of her decision making. Jammu Green, thanks for being with us. We will know very soon. <laughs> Maybe today. Thank you, Jammu. <laughs> Thank you.